since this is the third video of my Pokefacts series. So if you guys had not watched my previous two videos, then you can watch it by clicking on the i button, or you can even check out my description box area. Hey what's up guys, my name is Rishabh, and you are watching everyone's story. So today in this video, I come with some random awesome and mysterious facts about Pokemon. But before that, I suggest you guys to subscribe this channel and hit that bell icon, to get more this type of related videos in future. And now without wasting any time let me jump straight to the video. Ok fact number 19. Did you know, Mew is the only genderless Pokemon who can use Attract. Since we all know that Attract is a move that a one particular gender Pokemon can only use on its opposite gender Pokemon. Whereas on the other hand, genderless Pokemon like Metagross is not capable of learning this type of moves. But Mew is the only genderless Pokemon who not only can learn this moves. But also there will be an equal effect on both male and female Pokemon if Mew will use it. So it's really a very weird kind of fact. Although fact number 18, did you know, a theory say that Frislas is a lost woman. Since according to a theory, a woman who lost in an icy mountain and even eventually get dead, is reborn as a Frislas. However this theory is already rejected by various Poké fans, but it sounds me a little interesting and dark too, that's why I included it as a fact. Whatever fact number 17, did you know, Monkey is the first fighting type Pokemon in National Pokédex order. Since if you don't know what is National Pokédex, then it is a list of Pokemon in the order they were dictated. And Monkey is the first fighting type Pokemon who was included in this list. However it's a very awesome fact because we all know Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan as the first fighting type Pokemon that the writer had made. Since it's happened because Monkey was the first Pokemon Ash encounters in Pokemon anime. And even it's proof that how much influencer and importance Ash Ketchum have. In the Pokemon anime, although fact number 16, did you know, an awesome coincidence about Chimeco. Since Chimeco Pokédex entry is 358 and also he make his anime debut in episode 358. That's really a very awesome coincidence. Now fact number 15, did you know, something interesting about Ash Scraggy. Since Scraggy is Ash only Pokemon that Ash used in Unova region that don't have a 3 stage evolution. If you see Ash Unova team clearly, then you can easily notice that Ash all Unova Pokemon have a 3 stage evolution, except Scraggy. So it's really an interesting kind of fact that I had actually noticed. Although fact number 15, did you know, Jolteon is the lightest EV evolution. Considering we all know, currently EV have 8 different types of evolution. But do you know, at present Jolteon is the lightest EV evolution. Now fact number 14, did you know, something interesting about Ash Infinite. Since Infinite was Ash only Pokemon, who was earlier owned by a main rival of that particular region. However Charizard and Pignite was also earlier owned by any another trainer, but that particular trainers are not a main rival or anything like that for Ash Ketchum. Whereas Infinite when he was a Chimchar, he used to be owned by Paul, who was the main rival of Ash in Sinnoh. Whatever fact number 12, did you know, Paragon is a banned Pokemon. So in episode 38 of the original series, this Pokemon debuted in Pokemon anime. But unfortunately that episode get banned. In almost every countries. And sadly later on, Pokemon company also banned this Pokemon from anime. That's why we had never seen this Pokemon in any another future episode. I think this Pokemon really have a very bad luck. Although fact number 11. Did you know, the meaning of the legendary bird Moltres name? Since his name is the combination of two words, Molten and Trez. Which means three in Spanish language, and it's refers that he is the third legendary bird. Now fact number 10. Did you know, Delphox can see future. So according to its Pokédex entry, when Delphox focus into the flame at the tip of its wand, to achieve a focused state of mind, then it allows him to see into the future. That's really an amazing fact. Now fact number 9. Did you know, Weedrill was originally going to be called El. Since it was a little funny for me, when I first find this fact. Whatever in starting, Beedle is going to be called L, means his name is going to be only spelled with one word, L. However thankfully later on, Nintendo of America settled with Beedle. Although fact number 8, did you know, Cedra is capable of swimming backwards while facing forward. It means that Cedra can swim backward and at the same time he could attack from forward. Since there are various water type Pokemon, but all of them have to stop for a moment and then he do any of his attack. Whereas Cedra is the only Pokemon who can do any of his attack from forward while swimming backward. It is really a mind-blowing fact. Although fact number 7. Did you know, Magikarp can jump over mountains easily. Since many people mislead this Pokemon and think he have nothing to discuss. But do you know, a simple Magikarp have the capability to jump over a 29,000 feet mountain. And even that's why, you had seen in episode 26 of this Pokemon journeys that Go Magikarp reach the space in one jump. Because Go Magikarp is very huge in size in compared to a normal Magikarp. Whatever fact number 6, did you know, Onyx is the longest Pokemon that can hatch from an egg. Since throughout the series, we had seen various Pokemon to hatch from an egg. 
But do you know that Onyx is also a Pokemon that hatched from egg, and by seeing its size, there is no doubt he could be the longest one to do it. However, I'm still thinking what could be the size of that egg from which Onyx come from. So if anyone knows that please let me know in the comment section below. Now fact number 5. Did you know Pokemon is originally going to be called Capsule Monsters? Since I think you all know that Pokemon original registered name as Pocket Monster, which the company had shortened and called as Pokemon specially outside of Japan. But do you know that Pokemon founder Satoshi Tajiri wants to name this anime show as Capsule Monster? But he is getting a lot of trouble to get the trademark of this name. So that's why later on he changed this name to Pocket Monster. And now from here we all know that Pocket Monster was a little big name. That's why some people shortened this and called it as Pokemon that we all know today. Since this legendary anime really have a vast history and wholesome this was the reason that in my history of Pokemon world video I first tried to give a basis introduction that how Pokemon company get started. Although fact number 4, did you know Spiritum formed by 108 spirits? Since Spiritum is one of the most dangerous and mysterious type of Pokemon. Because it is said that many centuries ago 108 dark spirits are bounded inside us of its body with some mysterious spells. Considering the pink color of his body was his own body. When he was alive, means he was a Pokemon or something else who was actually dead. And someone bounded 108 spirits inside of it to reborn him as Spiritum. And the green spots that we can see on his body is actually those dark spirits that are filled inside of him. Also because of those spirits, he is still alive. Since I think Pokemon universe is not only so vast, but also contains various mysterious things. Although fact number 3, did you know, Gyarados was originally going to be called a Skull Kraken. Since Skull Kraken is a mythological sea monster and Yarados is made a little bit by seeing him. That's why his starting writers are suggesting to also name him Skull Kraken. But later on they ditch this idea and finally his name become Yarados. Now fact number 2. Did you know Eevee name is so unique? Since if you see clearly then you can easily find that Eevee name is only consist of two letters. Which is really so unique and also so interesting to hear. Although fact number 1. Did you know Gardevoir can generate black holes? So according to her Pokédex entry, if Gardevoir will find that her trainer life is in high danger, then to protect her, she could create a small dimension black hole from which her trainer could escape. Or to send that person or thing to another dimension from whom her trainer have danger. Since if you have any knowledge about black holes, then I know you definitely find this Pokédex entry so exaggerated. Because as per my knowledge, if only a small two feet black hole formed on Earth's surface, it can nearly can destroy a part of Earth's surface. Whatever let we don't think much as Pokemon is only a fictional animated show. And now that's enough for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. So don't forget to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon to get more this type of related videos in future. Also be sure to comment your thoughts about all these facts. Now at last as always, you guys can follow me on my social media handles like Instagram and Twitter. Thanks for watching.